Another aspect of the divisive visa lottery is marital status. This is a very crucial part of the application. In the DV lottery application, there is a place which is written your marital status. Marital status can be unmarried, married. You can be married, your spouse is American citizen or green card holder. If your spouse is American citizen or green card holder, there is no need to add the information of your spouse because your spouse doesn't need to get another green card or to become again American citizen. But if your spouse, you say you are married and your spouse is not American citizen or green card holder, whether that your spouse is planning to come or not to come, you have to include the date of birth of your spouse, the gender of your spouse, the fault of your spouse. You have to include that information. It's a very critical part. You can have the divorce. You don't need to add the information. But when you win, you need to have the information about the divorce. You have to add the information if you are, let's say, uh, your spouse has died, you are uh, that kind of status, you have to put that one. But there is no status of girlfriend and boyfriend. There is no status of being engaged. Fiance, fiance, there is no that status. So don't go there and start adding the information which is not required. Because there is a rumor and the information which is not is a myth, which is not true, that if you are married, you have more chance of winning. Yes, it's true. But only if a husband applies as many applicants, the wife applies as many applicants. Two applications is two principal applicants. Husband has, has a passport, applies, is married to person B, person B is, uh, is, is going to apply as many applicants say I'm married to person A. You have two chances. But just by being husband, by being wife, by being married, doesn't give you extra chance of being a winner. US government doesn't care whether you are married, whether you are unmarried. What matters is you increase the chance by both husband and wife to apply. That's the only way you can increase your chances. So don't go to the DV lottery application and say you are married because you are planning to get married in December. No. On the day of application, what is your current marital status? Put the marital status of the day you are applying. Even if you are going to get married tomorrow, if you are applying today, you are still unmarried. Be careful with that. Don't go and tell your girlfriend, I put you, I'm married to you and put you, you're married to me so that you can increase the chances. No, don't do that. If, you, if your girlfriend or your boyfriend wins, just let her apply as unmarried. You are not married. Then you can get married even after the results. Failure to put the person who is your spouse. Let's say you are married, you say you are not married. And let's say you are not you you, you are married you don't say you are not married or you are not married you say you are married to put a person who is not your spouse to put the wrong information about marital status will make you deny the visa right away. So make sure you have the information about your spouse. And especially for the people who, maybe their spouse, they live in another town, they live in the village, or they live in one town, another town, or you're in one country, another country, make sure your spouse and children have the photos. Individual photos, each photo must meet the, the requirements. Because I know some people who go to apply because they don't have the photo of their spouse, they end up putting unmarried, which is wrong. I know some people, you go to apply to the internet cafe, to cyber area, because you see difficulties, it takes longer to put all the information. This, oh, just apply and you are going to put, add your wife later. You are going to add your husband later. Failure to add your spouse will lead to the disqualifications down the road on the visa interview. But there are some people, they say, oh, we didn't get married in court or to the church or to the mosque. We need the traditional marriage. 
It's okay. You still have husband and wife. There is no problem with that. You still have to put your wife. You still have to put your husband. But you have to get the marriage certificate from your government once you win. Because the U.S. government will not give you the visa as husband and wife. Or when the Kentucky Consular Center KCC request for the documentation, they need to have the marriage certificate. Not the photo of you and the traditional chief drinking Fanta or Coca-Cola and the traditional African beer that, oh, we are just dancing, that's a wedding. They don't care about the traditional African dancing or wedding. What they care is the marriage certificate from your government. Yes, if you got married 10 years ago on the traditional marriage, you got today to get the marriage license or marriage certificate, the marriage certificate will have the today's date. There is no problem with that. Don't try to forge and back date you got married all those 10 years ago. No, put the date of today, but you show the evidences that you got married uh, 5 years ago or 10 years ago. There is no problem with that. Let's go to the people who are married in a traditional way or through mosque, you have more than one wife. In Kenya, you are allowed to have more than one wife. You have four, three, two wives, whatever you have. Or, or Muslim are allowed to have more, or depending on your culture. The United States, or most of the Western countries, almost all, uh, polygamy is illegal. So if you have four wives, you do one application. When you say you are married, it only opens one spot. So out of your two, three, four wives, five wives, go and put one you want to come together in America if you win. But your spouse, if you have four wives and your four wives have passports and they want to apply, they are allowed to put your marriage to you. There is no problem with that. But you, you cannot go and apply, oh, I'm going to apply with Asha. I'm married to Asha. I'm going to apply with the Hamida binti John, binti, binti Muhammad. Uh, so this is another application because this is my another wife. No. The software is going to detect that you have going to duplicate application and you will be automatically disqualified for that. So when you are going to apply for the visa lottery, make sure you put the appropriate work, I mean, marital status. Putting it wrong or adding someone who is not, you are going to be disqualified for that. And you'll be having a very difficult time once you win the diversity visa lottery. So, we'll be talking about what are the reasons you'll be disqualified despite of winning. This is one of the reasons why you'll be disqualified despite of winning is going to put someone who is your spouse while he's not your spouse. Or to say you are not married while you are married, you are married while you are not, or you are going to add someone who is not. So, all those kind of things are very, very crucial for you to understand. But if today you are single and you get married after the application for the DV lottery, you get married after the DV lottery results come out and you find out you have won, there is no problem. As long as you are going to prove that you got married after the application, you are coming together. The problem is to say that you are married while you are not, or you are not married while you are. You are. But if you get married after the application for the DV lottery, there is no problem. You and your spouse together, you will come to America. So be careful to make sure that you follow the instruction properly.